Hola y bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to talk about the best free apps for language learning in 2021. So if you want to know about them then definitely stay tuned. Alright, let's get into this video. So the first app is Hello Talk. I've talked about Hello Talk multiple times on this channel and Hello Talk is one free app that you can use to chat with native speakers. It is one of the best apps you can use to chat and talk with native speakers. It's just like having, for example, WhatsApp on your phone where you can literally chat with native speakers all around the world at any time. You just go on there, create a profile file and you're ready to go to chat with anybody around the world you're just gonna type the language you're learning and the language you speak as a native speaker so once you have that set you are ready to go to chat and speak to people from all over the world I used to do this in the beginning when I was learning a language to really help start learn that language by mainly speaking to native speakers that is one of the best things you could do right from the start when you learn a language and don't wait until you're more advanced in the language don't think that you have to be more advanced in order to speak with a native speaker this should be really a priority right in the beginning when you're learning a language that you try to speak to native speakers as much as possible do me a favor and start doing that right from the beginning when you're starting to learn a language so for example you could look for someone who has the same level as you have in their respective language then that person could have the same level as you in your native language so for example if you're American you want to learn Spanish you are looking for a Spanish native speaker and that native speaker is going to learn English so they have about the same level as you have in their language and for those people who might have a hard time getting out their confidence getting out their comfort zone so this is the best way you can start really interacting with native speakers but just go on that app because it's free it doesn't cost zero 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 nada nada okay so just click on the link down below to download hello talk and start talking to people from all over the world another, and another great extension this is not so much an app but more so a Google Chrome extension is Toucan Toucan what is Toucan and how does it work Toucan is one of the most fabulous apps extensions I've come across honestly because it helps you to learn languages while you're simply browsing the web let me show you how it works so once you download the extension basically what you're doing is choosing one of five languages I think Portuguese French German so you just choose your language you want to learn and from there on you start browsing the web once you start browsing the web the words you hover over will be translated into that language that you chose so for example if you're choosing Spanish then of course once you browse through the web and for example you have English words there you will hover over them and the words will pop up in Spanish with not only the translation but the pronunciation as well so you can listen to how the words are pronounced in Spanish this is a great extension for literally everyday use you just turn it on and start browsing the web and you learn so much unconsciously because I always emphasize it's very important to not only have that time set apart to study and learn but um, try to incorporate language learning in your everyday task and what you whatever it is that you're doing really and if you're doing this then Toucan is the best extension honestly to browse the web while learning a language learn a language while browsing the web Another great thing about the extension is once you browse, you know, the words, you can save them, you can track the words later on, you can track your overall process. So this is absolutely amazing for learning new vocabulary. So it's super easy. It is free. Go and download to come, please. You will thank me later. All right. Another great Google Chrome extension I've come across is called learning languages with Netflix oh my goodness I don't know why I haven't found this extension before it is so 
good let me tell you guys so whenever you're watching netflix i know that subtitles are not that great on netflix so usually i turn on learning languages with netflix and you can literally watch any netflix series and it will be translated with subtitles so you can basically do the same the subtitles in the same language or you can put the subtitles in um, your translated language the language you want to translate it into and the subtitles are so accurate like more accurate than the ones that appear on netflix <laughs> the subtitles are super accurate and on top of that you can hover over the words and it will show you the words not only the meaning of the words it's kind of like a dictionary but then it will also show you the pronunciation of the words so i do that for example with chinese movies and chinese series i watch on netflix i put this um extension on and then i will read the subtitles in um, Ch with chinese characters but then i will have them with the translation so whenever i hover over the words i will have the translation in english and i will also have the chinese pronunciation and the meaning and like this is so great like you don't have to have your dictionary out because everything is on this extension so please go and download learning languages with netflix another great app to learn languages for free is bubble bubble is obviously a paid app it has a paid option but it also has a free option and i basically used to use the free option for the longest time um you can use the free options without any like problems and usually when you want to you know just dive into the um beginnings of the language if you want to have the basics of the language then you can just simply use bubble for free and later on if you want to dive deeper then you can use the um, premium option but the free option is very good too it is great for learning pronunciation it's great for learning um different vocabulary so you have different units that are completely free for you to use so definitely check those out in the link down below the same goes with the app Mondly. Mondly offers 33 freaking languages i've never seen an app with that many languages you basically get to choose any kind of language you would want to on monly so the good thing about monly is there is also a free version you can use a free version to learn basics to like different topics that are more basic um, are completely free on monly and once you want to dive deeper as well there you can choose the premium option but it is good to start out with the free version so you can really see how it works another great app i use all the time this is not so much an app to learn a language but more so an app to improve your writing skills and this is grammarly grammarly is really good to kind of improve your writing skills and even if you write things correctly there could still always be some things that could be improved so it's really a good way to have grammarly installed it's a google chrome extension you can install it very easily so any text you will write in English I think for now it's just available for English you have to install Grammarly because this really helps when you're writing your text when you're writing emails it helps so much I think I wouldn't write any email now without Grammarly Grammarly is definitely a free extension you should have so click down the link below to get it another amazing free app is high native i've also talked about high native so many times on this channel high native is basically a language learning q a online so once you're on this app you can chat and communicate with native speakers and you can ask them questions related to their language if you have like native german speakers native french speakers you can ask them questions that you might have about the language about grammar about so many things about like literally anything related to that language so this is a great app because you not only get to interact with native speakers you get to ask them questions about their language and it's always good to learn something about the native speakers themselves instead of just going to a book and learning it from a book this is 
interaction one-on-one -on -one, and it's the best way to learn honestly if someone explains you something it will always stick more to your memory than just reading it somewhere so definitely go on high native and learn foreign language with this q a app and another great extension google chrome extension is subtitles with youtube i recently found this extension and this extension is just as great as the one with netflix learning languages with netflix you basically just turn on the extension and it will translate it will put on subtitles under every youtube video you could be watching a chinese youtube video and you will have the english subtitles to it um of course not every video on youtube is with subtitles so this is a great way to learn this is a great way to follow um, different YouTubers who speak different languages, YouTubers from different countries, you know, because they might not always translate their own videos or they might not always have subtitles to the video. So it's a great way if you want to follow, I don't know, Brazilian YouTubers or Spanish YouTubers, you know, so it's a great way to have this extension so you can follow every single video of them because every single video will be with subtitles honestly i understand why not everyone has subtitles because it's so much work of course to put on subtitles all the freaking time so i also recommend this if i have different videos in different languages definitely go and download this extension so you can watch my videos in different languages as well like for example if i'm doing spanish videos sometimes i might not have the subtitles available immediately you know so it's always a good thing to have these extensions because the subtitles are very accurate so go and download subtitles uh for youtube all right those were the free apps and extensions i hope you like them i mean you don't have any excuse to not download at least two three of them because they're all freaking free all right so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video